In the heart of a shadow-shrouded forest, something terrifying stirs. Soldiers, locked and loaded, brace for an unseen enemy. Alert from HQ, enemy incoming at 300 km per hour size, way beyond human. Lights out at base, it's showtime. Sentinel pops a flare, machines gear up for battle. Fire at will, night-long war unfolds. Dawn breaks, surprise twist, a soldier wakes up under a bear. Plot twist, the night's menace, a pack of giant black bears. But hey, black bears don't usually attack humans. So what's the real horror lurking in these woods? Grotesque dude with a nose-mouth combo? Definitely Voldemort. Kyle's freaked out, big time. In swoops, Emily, gun at the ready. She's quick to rally the troops. Voldemort's got nowhere to go. But Voldemort? Cool as a cucumber, eyes shut. Plot twist, all guns turn on Emily. Emily's mind blown, she's Voldemort's twin now. The real Voldemort approaches Emily, whispering through his nostrils. No ill intentions, just a demonstration of his powers, and a message for humanity. An alien race like him is on the verge of invading Earth. To avert this catastrophe, they must find the mastermind, his friend, Harry. Only Kyle, with his newfound powers, can locate him. Energized by Voldemort, Kyle's powers kick in. He whips up a dreamy sketch of the crucial location. Harry barely opens his eyes and humanity wiped out. Then, a massive alien spaceship emerges, heading straight for a skyscraper. Boom, it collapses. Voldemort arrives with the cops, tracking down Harry. Cops charge at Harry, but get tossed aside like ragdolls. Voldemort, quick on his feet, unleashes a power move on Harry. Cops scramble up, Voldemort lands a solid punch, Harry's down for the count. But wait, plot twist. Voldemort, now eyeing Earth for himself. Kyle, learning the truth, lunges at Voldemort with a knife, but oh no, he stabs Emily instead. As he gears up for another strike, Voldemort's got him by the neck. Teammates fire at Voldemort, who morphs into Kyle's dad. Kyle hesitates, and then suddenly, yes, humanity is safe at last. 